Hi guys, welcome back to Abjada. So we have this blog and uh, we have, I mean, we have the posts. We can uh, go there and we show the name. And to show this name, I'm making another request. Uh, if you remember, uh, if you go here, I make one request here to get the post. And then there is another request which I make to get the user. And there is one more thing. If I click on the user, it goes to the user page and here, I am looping through all the posts uh, if you remember I'm again making a multiple request here and then I am filtering it I'm guessing yeah filtering it through the posts and then uh, finding which post belongs to the user and then uh, getting it so a user pointed out that it can be very um, inefficient uh, if there isn't like huge database of thousands of posts uh, that is true so he pointed out that I pinned it uh, saying that you know if somebody comes up with something I would definitely change it and uh, somebody did uh, Ben ICF made a comment that you know it can be done and he commented you know how it can be done for some reason I think he removed it or edited it um, which uh, which is not there now but I made a note of it and uh, we, we can see how we can make our app more efficient with this and by the way this is not found in uh, you know JSON placeholder or type code uh, documentation so I don't know for what reason they are not putting it there one thing uh, we can do here is we can reduce the number of requests we make so the first one is uh, here I'm making another request for user ID to get the you know user uh, here in the post itself I can do something to get the user so I will reduce the size a little bit here there is this uh, expand user you know with a question mark and expand user if I use that all right uh, in that case what happens is I can console log the post To see what comes up I'll just uh, keep everything as it is let's see um, I'll just look at the console and go home and go here yeah here is where we want that yes now here what happens is I'm getting the user username and other things without making another request so in this case what happens is i don't have to use this you know uh, user request what i can do is i can just uh, remove this and then uh, i can do user uh, equals i'm guessing uh, yeah post.user i think that should be fine and it should work as it was before yes so it is still working so that way we got rid of uh, one request here and everything works as it was before now the second one is when you go here I'm looping through this one takes a lot of you know uh, processing if there is a backend or if you're using Firebase or something there will be a lot of reads so the second one is using uh, embed post if you have user if you make a request to the user here the user id if you if you add this embed posts embed equals posts it will fetch all the posts so in that case i wouldn't need uh, the second request so i can actually make this uh, even smaller by just i think uh, i can just do const uh, user equals await fetch And then I can have this entire thing. Okay. Uh, I think user or uh, just have a response, and then user is equal to response dot JSON. Now I can remove all post and the filtering. So these things are not required. This is not required. Uh, posts 
yeah let me see uh, const posts equals uh, maybe user dot posts that's all user dot posts should give me that uh, to be sure I'll just uh, console log these two user comma posts let's see what happens um, yes I'm getting both posts is like you know 10 posts user is the same thing now once that is there I can remove this console yes so we reduce this to one single request and uh, yep so this is this works as usual so that's it for this one guys so I would like to thank the commentator um, Kyle and also Ben for pointing out the inefficiencies thank you guys see you in the next one bye bye